Hello, my name is Luke Howells and I'm an Applications Engineer here at CADLINE. And today we're going to be looking at one of the 2018 features in Civils, which is an add-on to our feature line tools. What we're going to be looking at today then is the relative to surface command. So what we're going to do in this example, I already have a corridor set for my carriageway, I have an existing ground, and I have a combined surface. And all I've done is taken my existing ground and my corridor surfaced, use the edits tool and paste in the two together. The reason we do this is I'm actually now going to add in a sound barrier to the north of my road. And what I'd like it to do is sit about 8 metres away from the centre line of the road itself. And as you can see, my earthworks waver in and out, so there's not the guarantee that it's actually going to sit on the existing corridor surface that I have in there. By combining the two together, it doesn't matter whether it will fall on the corridor surface or the existing ground. In the combined surface, it will move relative to each of them. The combined surface is made up, as I said, from the vertical and the horizontal alignment from my corridor, so if that was to change, the combined surface would also update. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to use the simple offset command from AutoCAD. I'm going to set an 8 meter length. I'm going to select my center line alignment. I'm just going to offset it to the north. If I select it just there, you will see that I now have a polyline that runs the length of my corridor for 8 meters. As you can see, it does waver on and off the actual earthworks I have there. The majority of it is captured by the earthworks, but just in case it wasn't, as I said, for example, this area, we'll just use the combined surface. So I'm going to use the feature lines drop down now. I'm going to create uh, an object, a feature line from object. I'm just going to call this one my noise barrier. It's going to be a standard grading line, not worried about the naming or anything else like that. I'm going to erase the existing polyline and I'm going to automatically assign its level straight away. And it's here where we now see our new relative to surface command. As you can see, my combined surface is already listed, as is the other surfaces within the drawing. So we're going to select our combined surface. I'm also going to include an intermittent gradient breakpoints. This will then add an independent level at every time it crosses a triangle in our triangulated surface. As you can see in the background, I've got quite a large straight there, so where it, if I left it at the same, it would actually cut through in and out of the surface itself. Again, by adding these intermittent gradient breakpoints, it would now move and flow nicely with the surface. The relative to surface tool, I can add a positive or a negative feature. For this example, I don't need to, I can just leave it at zero height and it will just follow the surface exactly. So I'm going to press OK. It's going to convert my polyline into a feature line. And we can see, and you can see where it's added all the extra levels throughout where it crosses the triangulation of the surface. Now in 2017, as I said earlier, we could introduce a corridor off the feature line. So we're going to use that tool as well. So I'm going to create my new corridor. I'm just going to call it my noise barrier. If you wanted to, you could add a feature line in to your existing road corridor as an additional baseline. However, for this example, if we were to do that, it would then ultimately affect the combined surface as well as the surface made from the corridor. So I'm going to select my feature line side it was actually proposed on, so there's my noise barrier feature line. The assembly I'm going to be using is going to be my barrier. There's no target surface for this one, there's no earthworks to tie into, so I can leave that as none and it'll just be my fixed assembly. And I don't need to worry about setting the baseline or region, it'll just run the entire length of that feature line. I'll press OK, it'll rebuild, and then you can see there is my new corridor just off to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my surface style to triangulation. I'm going to select the new corridor and my row corridor. I'm going to step into object viewer. From here, I'm just going to drop into a realistic mode. Just so we can see how they look side by side. Here we can see my row corridor, my noise barrier to the side. And as we progress up the design, you'll see it moving up and down in accordance with either the surface itself or the earthworks that have actually been cut into it. Thank you.